Right, there's been a few little um, mildly eventful things today. Uh, where should I start? Where should I start? I um, I just chatted to um, someone from the coffee shop actually. I saw her last night and uh, got chatting and she obviously knows there's been some awkwardness and whatever. And while we were chatting, she just went, can I give you a hug? And I went, um, okay. <laughs> and she gave me this massive hug. And she went, come and see me tomorrow. I'm working tomorrow. Come and have a chat to me and have a coffee with me. Will you please? And kept making a point of it. And I was like, okay. And I did. And I went by and um, we chatted about everything. And she was cool about it all. Just again, I just explained my position and what had happened. And just, you know, she, I think she had a slightly different version of events. Because there always is, isn't it? Which is part of the problem. And that's what I said to her. I said, he walked past me and didn't, it wasn't an issue. He smiled and said hello. And then I find out from someone else that apparently it was this, that, and the other. I said, I don't need that yet. So if you want, want to talk to me about anything, talk to me about it, but then don't. Do you know what I mean? And she just got me. <laughs> she ended up just saying, look, if it's just me here, will you come in and have a coffee? And I just went, yeah, I will do. She said, you know, everyone has bad days and rah, rah, rah. And I was just like, no, I like, I, I've got to stick to my guns on it. If that's the way it's being portrayed to me, then I'm going to just say, fine, all right, boom. I know I covered all of that shit, but it was nice to chat to her and it was just, you know what I mean? Like uh, when I was leaving and she gave me a ripple bar. <laughs> of course I'm gonna lie, cause she gave me a ripple bar. Um, but I just said, thanks for noticing. Cause it was one of those, I, I, ha I am scatty. My head is all over the place. I'm getting, gonna get to that in a minute. But um, she spotted it and was just, she didn't judge it. Do you know what I mean? I talked to her about quite a bit of stuff um about that kind of you know once you get to that point where it all starts coming together and then it crashes and um that's where I've you know sort of often been we talked about quite a lot and it was it was really nice it was really nice actually she's not there that often but it's like it was her partner and business partner that I sort of had the, the well that caused it <laughs> that caused it um but anyway that was that and that's all good what else so um I, I did paper day but, oh my God, I lost my shit, literally. Look, see that uh, that guitar up there that now hovereth? That, it was like, after two hours, I had fucking annihilated my bedroom. Everything was dragged out and it wasn't even up properly. <laughs> it's just like, oh, for fuck's sake. Because I couldn't find anything and I had to drag everything out and then I started noticing rubbish and I started noticing other things and then it was just literally everything was like a fucking bomb site and there's like that bit's lit up but that bit needs to go in that box and that's not supposed to be out and that, it's like... And then I had to wade through all of this lot. This is all ready for Monday but that's all my appointments. We've even got, hope you couldn't read that because his name is Dr Bleepity up there and Dr Fixity is at the bottom and then there's all my wellness groups. Even that though, by that point, just reading out all those dates, it's like there's eight or nine of them, but it's over the next two or three months or something. Um, and like, that's the sort of thing that can fuck me right up. It's on different days, at slightly different times, and uh, then all at the same time. But just to get that bit done, it was like literally by then I was just fucking raging. Just had that internal hardness that's just burning and fuck off. Just wanted everything to fuck off. <laughs> and then, um, what else? Yeah, like, all I did was I bought a ticket for my birthday. <laughs> Finally got around to buying the ticket. And it was my membership thing, you know, just logging in with Facebook. It wouldn't log in with Facebook. And then it was, um, what was it? I logged in and then it said that email address is already taken. I thought, well, I must not have logged in with Facebook last time then. So then I ask it to send to my email and then it says, that's an invalid email address. And it was, you know, when everything starts going wrong and not loading properly. <laughs> and then, um, so I finally sorted all of that out, managed to log in, put my card details in and got some red message come up saying it's been declined and you've got to ring the number on the back of your card. I'm like, fucking what? So I do that and then it's getting me to key all the fucking details in. And I'm, by this point, I'm swearing at the phone going, is this all shit that I could be fucking saying to you over the phone that I'm probably going to have to repeat on the fucking phone? Just answer the fucking thing. And then I ended up with someone who was, uh, my name's such and such, and I'm going to spend an unreasonably amount of long time telling you stuff that I've got to tell you and ask, how are you today? And sound really cheap. And then not even fucking listen to you. Because I told him, <laughs> I said, my card's just been stopped. And But in doing this call, I've like, it's read my balance out to me. There's money there. Nothing's gone missing. What's What's the problem? 
Well, what happened? I told him the whole story about how it, it I'd, I'd used it on PayPal and it was fine. And then it was 10 minutes later, I used it on something else and it wasn't. And he said, so you're saying it works on PayPal? I did it and started, I was like, no. And I had to tell the whole fucking story again. And at one point I was like, this will make my fucking card work. I was fucking, really, I almost launched the phone. I was that fucking furious. I was fucking biting my lips not to swear it. and just going, what now? I was just, I couldn't, my breathing was fucking out of control. I was a cunt, basically. I was a cunt. Um, and, uh, what was it? My phone, the um, power button thingy on it, doesn't always work. Uh, so you have to sit there. And it especially doesn't do that on phone calls. So, like, the phone call's over, and I'm trying to press the thing so the phone can light up so I can press the off button. And I can hear the thing still hissing. And he said, can you put the phone down, please? And I went, I'm fucking trying. Because I was already pissed off with my phone. As far as I'm concerned, he should have put the fucking phone down. And he said, would you like me to put the phone down? And I went, there's an idea. Fucking what the fuck? <laughs> no, stay on the line until they put the phone down. Even if it takes a while, just remind them after 10 seconds. Are they not able to put the phone? What the fuck is he on about? It was, it was one of those almost last straw all situations. Um, and like, I, I'm like... I was going to go to the gym, but um, basically I went out and that was when I saw the lady from the shop. That was after all this. And um, she did kind of settle me down a little bit. But yeah, I saw a couple of people and we both of them, they're like, are you all right? And I was like, no, I'm scatty. I'm like, I'm, and I could feel it. All of my phone calls, I was like, and, and um, uh, I so I, and, and, but literally fucking falling over my words, falling over. And again, like, just look back at what I've achieved. It's fuck all, mate. It's fuck all. Someone would do it while they were chatting to me. And then while they were still chatting to me, they'd be putting all those dates in their phone. Do, 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 do. What did he say? And they'd be following it. <laughs> la, 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 chatting away. Oh, no, I saw him the other day. And they'll be able to think of things and actually create something to say in response to what they've been listening to. And that, like, they listened to it all while they were looking at this and doing that. You're fucking aliens. You are. You are aliens. You weird creatures who can do that sorcerer monkeys um but yeah like that's that was paper day it's not finished but fucking hell like it just shows me <laughs> it does just show me how um how bad it's got how bad it's fucking got because you know this was just me operating as me right i'll do that now in your own consciousness make a choice I just want to um, put that over there. Oh, look, that stool's in the way, so I need to pick the stool up. Oh, look, there's a lamp underneath it. I'll need to unplug that and da 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 So you just move the couple of things and do it. Um, but, yeah, it's, it, it's, it's <laughs> fucking... Uh, it's never like that. But the guitar's up on the wall. I don't think it's going to fall off. I had to... It was just the top hole was too um, big. It had blown a little bit, so I just put a much bigger plug in and a bigger screw. But then even with that, it's like a, the thing that holds the guitar means that the impact driver couldn't go and the screwdriver's too short and I can't find the extension bar. And it's, oh, for fuck's sake. I've got a long screwdriver, but um, let's just call it a size three and the screw was a size one. That's why I couldn't use it. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's a fucking nightmare. A fucking nightmare. I'm thinking, mate, I've built fucking extensions. <laughs> I've landscaped gardens, I've like built conservatories, I've tiled massive, massively decorative floors and fucking, I was an all fucking salt. <laughs> I can't put a fucking guitar on the wall. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, like, I can and I have. But yeah, it's it's one of those points where it, it is, that oversensitivity section is sort of magnified by the fact that it's just literally every fucking thing and it's the, just the fed up, oh for fuck's sake, and you do feel, can't I even get that right? Because you fucking can't. You're not just saying it. If you say, can't I even get that right, people go, oh for God's sake, stop wallowing in it. It's like, but what if you actually can't? 
What if everything that you do try you can't get right? And you end up streaming or breaking something else or fucking losing something or just creating another job for yourself. And it's like, um, so I'm glad that that's done because that's all like ready in time for Monday and I'll have all the shit sorted and she can put it all in her diary and I'm hopefully turn it into a support worker session and there's going to be two of them and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> It's it's one of those that I just thought, come on, mate, it's only like basically three appointments, but it's not. And it's the more I was just, um, what was it? That was it. I couldn't find the letter for um, for Doctor's Fixity or Bleep, Bloopity. Um, and that was making me panic because that was something that she'd asked for. And I've got to fucking ring them and I've got the fucking internet and I've got to go through a switchboard again and then tell my story to someone else who then is going to put me through to someone else and tell the same story again, which I've had to do. Um, but I've handled it just, literally just. And it is when I don't want to be around people, when I feel myself getting like that, it's just so risky that I'm just going to go, for fuck's sake, and turn on someone. I don't want to be that cunt. Because that's not who I am. That's the sort of shit I keep saying. I misrepresent myself. I'm not that sort of person. I'm not fucking nasty and abusive to people. It's just the impatience. It literally does turn you into a different person. And it's kind of like... The kind of thing that people say, like, when someone's had, like, a brain injury. And they say he was never a different person afterwards. It changed his personality and he made him a right moody bastard. Everyone would be a right moody bastard if those areas of their brain that was supposed to make them not be a moody bastard, didn't work well. And if the areas of their brain that were geared up to, like, attack as a form of defence were working too well, everyone would become that um, single-minded and... Um, uh, I'm going to run out of words. It's not going to work. I know, I know what I'm saying. <laughs> Just, uh, yeah, an arrogant cunt. A bad tempered bastard, it's fucking my way or the highway, fuck you, pal, and all that sort of shit. And I don't like people like that, so I don't want to be one. So it's it's another reason, it's another nail in the coffin of Mikey stays at homeness. Because you know, it it doesn't if it it doesn't take much to get me that angry. You can imagine doing that every day at work. <laughs> Tried it, mate. <laughs> Tried it. Yeah. Um but I managed it. It's something. I did something constructive. I struggled. So that's why it's more of an achievement. Like, I'm not being funny, mate. I filled in. Where did I put it? Where have I fucking put it? One of these. An actual form. There's fucking miles of it. Look. Pages. Pages. With stupid fucking questions. With stupid, like... Mark on this scale, how you feel about this today? And and there's never one that matches what's actually fucking happening, is there? Do you know what I mean? It's like either with some difficulty or impossible. You know, <laughs> it's, um, yeah. And this one, I can confidently, because I know that this one, because they've sent me about seven, but yeah, that one is filled in and signed and, well, not signed, ready to go in the envelope. When I go out in a minute. So this one I can confidently know that I can like um, tear it thus. <laughs> tear it thus and chuck it. I've put things in the folder I'm only allowed to put things in. This is the folder I'm only allowed to put things in. <laughs> I wish you liked that boundary. And then there's my other photo. So I have actually, like, know where a lot of my shit is now. There's a lot of shit that's gone into these as well during my paper day. So that's quite organised for me. That's pretty cool. I've got at least one very likely place where something's going to be if I keep both those folders together. Um, and that was my paper day, and I better shut up. <laughs>